Hey, howdy, and good morning. Now, I've got a scene for you. This is a story. It's not real, but go along with me anyways. So, you you know, you, you go to a restaurant like McDonald's or something in the morning. There's old timers there, and they're talking about their cholesterol or something. You know, it's typical. Old people are always talking about, um, excuse me, they're always talking about their health issues and whatever else. But I've got a different scenario for you. What if they were sitting there and you overheard the conversation? They said, hey, Ray, I heard you got a portable generator. How's your THD? And he goes, well, Joe, funny you should ask. Me and Martha are talking about that, and our THD is under 6%. He goes, wow, mine's up over 25. Now to the, <laughs> to the outside eavesdropper, you're like, what the heck, THD? But this morning, hang on, because I think that should be more of our discussions than talking about our cholesterol. Total harmonic distortion. Here we go. So I got to start out by saying thank you. Thank you, thank you. A couple of things. We've got over 3,000 subscribers, which every day I'm, su I'm surprised. It's like, wow, that's... I know there's people with millions of subscribers, hundreds of thousands. I don't care. This is our, our electrical out in Texas thing, and you guys are awesome. I have to say thank you also for the comments and questions. Uh, some of the questions are repetitive. That's the nature of the deal. But a lot of you are questioning things and said, hey, I thought this, or isn't this the right way? I love that. Thank you. Because most of the time, you guys are right. I'm like, ah, uh, yeah, you're right. Thank you. Correction. Uh, we got it right. But yeah, we're at 3,310 subscribers. Love the feedback and the questions. Uh, keep those coming. And today, as we go into THD, um, hang on to this. This is, this is actually important. Um, or maybe it's not. I'll let you decide. So total harmonic distortion, you guys know with a sine wave, we got that beautiful clean S curve. We started having issues with harmonic distortion back in the 90s, and that was with the introduction of electronic ballasts. And they took that beautiful clean curvy waveform and chopped it up into squares, okay? And that's how in, in, in terms of distorting, if you will, or chopping up the power on and off, it saved energy. And it revolutionized office buildings and commercial because now, you know, we have a building with 3,000 2x4 fluorescent troffers uh, with electronic ballast that was cutting those power draws way down. Unfortunately, it was also causing fires. <laughs> so, side note, old days we had three-phase power, still have that, and we had one shared neutral. When those are clean, those three phases are correct. Your, your return or unbalanced load on the neutral theoretically is zero. Well, when they first introduced electronic ballasts, the current coming back on there was not zero. And many times it was the total of those three phases and neutral wires were burning up. And so that's a whole different thing. And with generators, it's an issue because mo a lot of us are electronics heavy in our life, in our world, in our homes. And so let's talk about a quick benchmark when you look at generators or harmonic distortion, usually the, the benchmark for what they call a pure sine wave, which doesn't sound pure to me because it's still five or 6%. That's for clean power. So my question to you first off, because a lot of guys are super obsessed with this with generators, is what's the THD that you get off your utility company? I did some research. One is utility companies don't talk about it, probably because they can't control it. But the numbers I saw in some of the, the, the different states, it was pretty high. They were not listing a number. They were saying our THD is under 20% or 25%. So your power quality coming to your house already may not be super great. And you'll see that with routers wearing out, stuff dying early, uh, intermittent in and out. And that's because the power quality sucks. So now we go to a power outage, already not a great situation and you've got a generator going, and you've got a deal at Costco or something, and nobody looks really, not many people look at THD, and uh, it's very, it's not that many generators, at least open frame, typical generators, that most of them are 15 plus percent. Um, my uh, Westinghouse, 
that I told the story about, the one that I had, remember, combined with the solar, had the flashing LED lights and the router shutting off and my wife asking if that was normal. Uh, it is if your uh, frequency is garbage. Anyways, that was, they. when I looked at the manufacturer, they said it was, they just gave a less than 23%. So if clean power is 5 and 23 is what a lot of the cheaper generators are doing. So here's why this is important. If you want backup power, you have a lot of sensitive electronics. You should probably go to an inverter. An inverter is a more expensive generator, but it's much quieter. More importantly, of course, is that the, the power coming in is super clean. It's 5 6% or less, okay? Most of your standby generators, I looked at Generac online, they're saying there is 6%. Okay, that's for a permanent standby. Just pretty clean. So it's if you don't have sensitive electronics, you just want the lights on and microwave to work, do, do what I did. Grab your, your beater or Westinghouse, fire it up, hit your interlock switch, and roll. Um, but if you got the other stuff, you know, the gigantic uh, big screen, You've got uh, a couple of server stands in your closet. You've got electronics or, or high-end music equipment. Same thing. You need to look at a different generator, okay, something that's a lot cleaner on the front end. Here's what I don't recommend. I've had a couple of clients want to buy super, not super, but cheap generators with high THD and then put a filter or a voltage regulator on the house. And to me, that's not going to work very well. And it's, I think it ends up being more expensive. If you want clean power, get an inverter-style generator or a permanent standby and get the clean power from the source at the get-go. Price differences is part of that. So a little bit of research I did, that if you looked at, let's say, a 7,500 to 8K, your inverter style will generally be about at least double what it would be for a standard open frame or a gas, you know, or propane generator with a higher THD. Rule of thumb is the cheaper the generator is, the higher your harmonic distortion is going to be. And again, if you can live with it, that's awesome. Um, I'm looking at the inverter and I'm looking at my notes. What are your thoughts? What are your experiences? I've seen, and this came up because several of you have brought up THD and also talked about trying to clean up the power. Um, again, I think from the get-go, get the inverter if you need clean power. Click like, subscribe. I want to hear your comments about clean power and generators. Some of you also who know, know where you're at, like Florida, California, maybe the Northeast, do you know what your THD is coming into your house already off the grid? I'm curious about that. Northern California, like I said, they said... Uh, I think it was less than 30%. <laughs> and I know there's variation. That's a bunch. THD. Next time you go out with some friends, see if you can bring that up. See how that conversation goes. Take care.